Okay, <clears throat> here we are at the top of our rafter. You can see that we've got our crown up. There's the, my, my crown is going away from me. Crown's going that way. Um, you can either do a, a crow's foot like that on there, or uh, oftentimes we go ahead and put a series of X's on the top. That, that, that depicts which side is up. Makes our lay, lays out our crown for us very nicely. So here's what I want to do here. I want to uh, I want to lay this out. I want to go on my six, which I already have marked out with a sharpie, and my 17 back here. Six and 17. There's my plum cut. I'm going to go ahead and mark that. There's my plum cut, all set up and marked out. <coughs> um, we, we will still use this mark later on when we come back up and shorten it. But uh, I'm going to go right through everything. So I crowned my lumber. I laid out my top cut at 617. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a uh, I'm going to put a nail in. <coughs> If you have a worker with you, if you have a helper with you, they can hold it here, or you can go ahead and put a nail in here. And uh, <clears throat> from there is where we'll hook on, and we'll run on down to start to lay out our uh, lay out our bird's mouth down here. And, uh, so there we are, right there. I'm going to hook on that <clears throat> and run it on down the line. Let's uh, let's head on down to the other side of the rafter here and uh, we can get a, a quick look at where, what we're doing on the layout. Here's our rafter. And <clears throat> here we go. That should give us a pretty good idea where we're at here. I need to get my line length, which was 108, 108 inches. <coughs> Run that out. <coughs> and we'll mark it out. I'm hooked on top. There's my 108. That's my line length. That's the back of my heel cut. <coughs> Good there. Now, at this point, <coughs> we go ahead and we do another 617. Remember, we have a plum cut at the top, we have a plum cut at the bird's mouth, and then we're going to have a plum cut down here. Three plum cuts, one level cut. That's typically what you're going to end up with most of the time on these rafters. So again, I'm going to hold my 6 and 17 for my hips only. I'm going to mark that out. <coughs> we're going to come up about two and a quarter or so, something like that. <coughs> I don't have a problem with, with us putting a tape on it then and uh, and marking two and a quarter. We'll go two and a half. Let's go two and a half high on that, and that's going to give us plenty plenty of a heel cut, uh, excuse me, of a, of a seat cut to sit on top of our wall. So there's my 617 one more time, going two and a half inches high on it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the same 617. I'm going to slide it on over here. And there's 617. There's going to be my seat cut. That's going to give me my seat cut. <clears throat> Again, uh, that this part is going to be removed, so I'm going to put an X on there. Uh, there's my heel cut, my seat cut, 617 up, and then, then this is the 90 degrees to it. Once that's set up, <clears throat> then we're going to be we're going to be able to go ahead and measure from there on down. We'll move this down the line here. <clears throat> And uh, we'll be able to uh, lay out everything on our on our tail. Remember, my my overhang was 18 inches. So from the back of that, <clears throat> I'm going to come down here to 18 and I mark it. And we'll be able to lay that out at, at a 617. One more plumb cut. One more plumb cut. There's my 6, there's my 17. This is another way of doing it if you run out of board like I did here. 6 and 17. There's my plum cut. <clears throat> Good. Now, <clears throat> what we what we want to do then is we do have to uh, we do have to lay this out so it's going to be on an angle. 
our angles are going to be uh, <clears throat> that's going to be the the total length on the on the the bottom or the top we can flip that up and get that um, and get that all figured out <clears throat> and then we also have to remember that we have to shorten the rafter up on the top to make sure that we get around everything at our ridge board and uh, so we're going to go back up to the top and shorten it and set that up for you see if I can get up there without too much trouble here there we go <clears throat> Okay. We can pull this nail <coughs> and uh, <coughs> now we can check our layout on here <coughs> and make sure that everything's good. So we, uh, I went and did a, a diagonal cut on that top right there. You can see that. <coughs> I've got a cut there and a cut there. Now what we have to do is we have to subtract from there. <coughs> uh, we have to subtract an inch and an eighth and come back and do a layout for our shortening. I'm going to come back. Right there. <coughs> and we can use the square one more time that's <clears throat> that was my original layout line this is my shortened line because we have to take off half half of the diagonal thickness of our ridge board which in this case would be a 2 by 8 or a 2 by 10 half of that diagonal thickness is going to be an inch and an eighth here's my 6 my <clears throat> 17 there's my cut <clears throat> I know that this one's going to be going this way and I'll have to lay out another cut on the other side uh, in order to make it come back across the other way. I can easily do that. <coughs> do this cut right here. going to line everything up. <clears throat> I'll be able to set set my saw and come back. It's going to it's actually going to the cut's going to look like that. <clears throat> and uh, that's going to give us the top cut, shortening cut on the top of our hip rafter. <clears throat>